Welcome back to some more Fatal Zone. Today I want to do a baseball bat run and I, I honestly fired the last chick that had a baseball bat because she didn't have a good accompanying armor. Harry on the other hand has fox armor. Now Ethan is what uh, Ethan also has fox armor and check this out. Ethan gets reload speeds, rerolls, projectile increases, projectile speed increases and light armor. And to tell you the truth, I like the sound of that. I want to be completely offensive because they, you know, the people in the comments have said this build is this 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 bat is berserk. So I am gonna uh, not to be confused with the berserker armor, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and recruit Harry. And I've been collecting quite a bit of resources in my downtime off camera so that I can make some upgrades and stuff. And I think we'll go to the workshop and upgrade Harry as much as possible and see what we can do with the bat. So the bat is going to increase luck, projectile speed, AOE. The number of projectiles goes up to two right here, but I don't know what the next one will bring. Actually, it brings up luck, duration, projectile speed, AOE. Having a little bit more AOE sounds pretty cool, but to tell you the truth, I don't know if I want to upgrade this. I, I, I could because I have an HQ of five, 863 which i have yeah you know what i've been getting enough resources i'm gonna do this because i have a ton of parts and that's essentially what makes it really hard i gotta upgrade the hq first before i do this uh but i kind of want to go i, I kind of want to upgrade everything so we're close to unlocking pyro by the way and some of the classes, some of the stuff we haven't even gotten yet, like I have to kill a thousand zombies with a tank and I don't even have a tank recruited yet, but I have gotten a lot of money lately. So you guys need to let me know what I should use as a tank, okay? <laughs> like what exactly I should do, uh, what weapon and armor I should use with a tank, what good combos uh, have y'all tried out? So we're going to be using Harry to go in with the baseball bat and uh, we're, we're going to try it out. Now... I have been trying a few different combinations of uh, of strategies, I should say. And one of the things that I've been doing with Ethan with the SMG, wow, we're already shooting three projectiles, which is nice. One of the things I've been doing with Ethan and the, uh, the SMG is I tried rushing the evolution. And it's not the best idea because if you don't, first of all, if you don't select the right weapons, that or um, that you're developing well it can mess you up bad because once you fill up slots on either skills or weapons you can't even get an evo so we need nimble here so we're going to try to get it as soon as we can we do have three re-rolls and to tell you the truth long arms i like because i want the evo for grenades if i can get it it's it's a great skill and uh, once you have the evo for it it's very very good so we're going to do long arms here, even though I really wish that was a bat. And we're going to try to save our evolutions for when we, I mean, our rerolls for when we really need them. Uh, we're going to try to get evolutions when we can, but not at the expense of doing anything stupid. Okay, so I already got long arms. I don't need any more uh, to qualify for this. I just need um, the, uh, the grenades. So let's go ahead and go with bat. It's going to increase projectile speed, projectile size, and AOE, but we still going to have the same amount of uh, projectiles. So we're going to take a few risks here just to get some early XP. I do have the veteran class, which means I get, uh, I regenerate um, passively. So cell regen might be interesting here, but I think we're going to go for killer instinct what is killer instinct again what's the uh what's the bonus for that i forget it's actually the shotgun which doesn't do us any good cell regeneration is there any boost with that no this is nimble i don't think cell regeneration does anything for us in general and bulletproof vest is just not even on the list we'll take cell regeneration because it aids our already um our our current regeneration skill our innate skill so I think that'll be okay. So, so far, the bat is doing pretty good. Now, from what I hear, it, the, the evolution is transformative, right? It, it, it really, really makes this build sing. Kind of like the boomerang, except the boomerang was, well, I mean, the boomerang actually changed it for 
a different kind of build so the next time we do a boomerang build we're gonna know what to expect okay so definitely gotta go with bat again here it does bring my projectiles up by one again which is great and i'm starting to take a little bit of damage here you know getting nimble would be nice i, I do want it for this build anyway and he seems to be just a little bit slow which is weird because I, if I'm not mistaken, Fox Armor gives a little bit of movement speed as well. I can't even see it, but let's see. I, I can't, can I look here? Extra, um, don't see movement speed. Regeneration, healing. Uh, oh, speed. Here we go. 3.24. I don't know if that's good or not, but we'll see. Okay, so, and my regen is 1.5 right now. Okay, so get a little bit of movement speed with nimble and that is going to help us a lot uh let's go with bat again it brings our projectiles up again starting to get a lot of these i didn't want to get that chest there we go all right these rocks at the beginning they do a lot of good because sometimes you can escape getting hit from uh from <laughs> from from kind of chitin chitin zombies around one of them Okay, let's see what we got here. Bat, long arms. Yeah, we're going to take bat again. And let's see. No, we're not evacuating yet. We're going to try to hold out here. I mean, we don't have any skills or mutations built up with this character yet. Uh, but we do have some um, some level ups, right? We're, we're at level 5. So I'm, I'm thinking that we'll be able to stay at least until about the 10 minute mark. But I tried staying longer than that and a few times and it, it starts to get really, really ridiculous. I think you need some very well-developed characters and a bunch of unlocks for multiple Evos at that point. Okay, let's get Bat again. It would be nice if we picked up Frag Grenade better sooner than later just to make sure that we have it secured and it's in the slot. A way we can work towards the evolution of that. Okay, so the AoE is starting to get kind of ridiculous. When the swarms start kind of piling up around us, it almost kind of looks like mortars. Look at that. Look at that. The AoE is getting so big. Okay, we don't need quick hands for any synergies, but out of these three, this works well because reload speed is nice. And it affects everything. It's kind of like um, uh, the, the mag uh, uh, upgrade. Uh, we'll go for more bat here. This is going to bring us to uh, more projectiles. No, same amount of projectiles, but... Okay, so this is duration. Duration is two seconds, I guess, till they explode. So increasing duration at this point would make them explode later. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it. Uh, we still need to pick up nimble, man. Still need to pick up nimble. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll focus on getting that as soon as possible with rerolls. Uh, we do want mag pouch though. Mag pouch is just exceptional because it just adds projectiles to everything. So frag grenades, baseballs, you name it, man. Uh, mortars, anything that has projectiles, pretty much. Okay, this is a freeze, which is good to have. Let's see if we can do some damage to this guy. Oh gosh, yeah. When they start hitting, bro, they hit good. And we got a magnet for it. Very nice. Okay, so here's an example where we want to use reroll. Even though grenade launcher is not that bad, I do really want to focus on making sure that I get what I need for this build. And, you know, I, I can't refuse one of these. This will max bat out, which means as soon as I get nimble, I'll be able to get the chest. Even though mag pouch is good, I'm going to go ahead and max out bat here. Okay, I think we're gonna re-roll this again, y'all. And let's see, okay, so we got Mag Pouch. This is bad, we're out of re-rolls and we still haven't gotten Nimble. We only have two more skills that we can receive. So it starts to get a little bit dangerous. We may not be able to complete the Evo if we get the wrong skills and they fill up all those slots. Because we don't have any more re-rolls. So getting re-rolls, very very important and the good thing about it is as more the the more you play a character the better chance you can get those mutations that give rerolls we're gonna go ahead and go with quick hands here and a way that we can strategize to get that for sure is taking weapons instead of skills 
when we don't have an option to get what we want. Although it is relatively, um, it's kind of touchy because sometimes you got to pick up stuff that you don't want. Yeah, the AOE on these things are crazy. Okay, so we are, and we, we still doing pretty good, man. Here's frag grenade. We want it. Uh, that is going to give us the ability to where where does it where does it highlight yet yeah, we're gonna that's gonna give us the ability to level up frag grenade and ultimately get the evo for it which is uh enough for everyone and it's a it's a wonderful weapon and upgrade the damage on frag grenade towards the end is crazy and with all this aoe that we already have it's gonna be nuts man all right Got to be careful of my health, even though I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I do love mortars a lot. Mortars are just good board clear. It kind of just increases the amount of uh, XP that falls on the ground. <laughs> Sometimes it hits close enough to really worry about it, but it just increases board clear. And it kind of softens up chunky enemies before they get to you. Like those guys with shields that we're going to meet later on. Very, very nasty, man. <laughs> Very nasty. Got to be doing a lot of damage to hurt those guys. So softening them up on the way in is my kind of upgrade. Okay. I do think that we go for quick hands here again. And we've got mortar again. Be nice if we could get... A bat is all the way upgraded now. So we need nimble, y'all. Like, for real, we need nimble. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, not a, it's not a game no more. It, we, uh, quit playing. Just give me nimble. All right. Oh, yeah, the baseball's on this guy. Crazy, huh? <laughs> yep, this build's pretty powerful. So we don't have nimble yet. Unfortunately, I can't not get this chest. Maybe this will give me nimble, but I think it just gives me something that I already have. So that would have been amazing if we could have gotten nimble before that, because that would have been the evolution right then and there. I don't think it's going to be a problem getting out of here. Look, nimble! God dog it! This game, bruh. <laughs> it giveth and it taketh away. I swear, bruh. Like, not even 30 seconds too late. It's so, <laughs> oh, this game's trolling us, y'all. Trolling. All right, let's get out of this little circle of doom. You know, I don't know how much damage you got to do to kill those guys, but it's a lot. If you can even kill them. I know you can move them out of the way, which seems to be the best option. Okay. Yep, we're not ready to go yet, baby. We're just getting warmed up here. Um... Killer Instinct, I guess, is pretty good, but I want to get Long Arms just because Magnetism is is nice. It just increases passive XP. It's almost like a flat XP percent gain because everywhere that you walk, if you're near it, you're going to pick up more XP with this kind of AoE on the board. So here we have uh, to make a choice between almost everything that is... Uh, that, that that we don't want <laughs> almost everything that we don't want so getting uh getting the home run is a weapon so we don't want to fill up weapon slots if we don't have to uh is there anything else that we need to make sure that we have for skills i don't think so i don't because we we're not eligible to get the magnetic accelerator so we don't need to worry about kunai here and uh we don't have Molotovs, we don't have shock grenades, we have regular frag grenades. Uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we can go with whatever we want here. So out of all of these, I think, I don't know if knockback really would be good for us. I think just more damage is good. And I do like Kasarigama. So it does help a little bit with the uh, flat like damage right around you. And it, it, it can do a lot of damage when you're up close to bosses, too. Uh, let's see here. This gives us our last skill. Is there any other skills that I want? Honestly, 
we probably gonna want some utility instead of just damage flat damage increase I don't know though let's get another weapon we're gonna get the grenade launcher it's not a bad weapon not by any means not one of my favorite but it's still pretty good okay so we have a lot of projectiles due to mag pouch and our armor so it's gonna be doing good damage let's see bio destructor is a weapon we can't do it oh gosh look at this y'all you see how it did me so it's gonna fill up this last slot and there's nothing we can do about it if we don't take grenade launcher that's it oh i'm really really I, at first i didn't think that it even was given us the option but i forgot that we had picked up grenade launcher thank goodness so we need to get a chest as soon as possible so we need to fight we need to get an elite and we need to stop getting as much xp if we can if we could possibly strategize that so we need to just bide time until we see a uh, an elite and just stay away from that much xp gain try to get resources you know that sort of deal we are gonna get xp passively but we could worry about skills instead. Okay, so uh, could bring up long arms, but I'm gonna do know thy enemy, which gives us extra XP, which is not exactly what we want right now, but I have a feeling that we're gonna find, oh no, I got a magnet by accident. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, uh, another, um, we're gonna go with another nimble. Hopefully they keep feeding us skills because we really need to find this elite. And I say find it like we're looking for it. We just need to get a chest from one. And I think it's a time deal. Okay, we did not get a chest from that elite. Uh, let's go with mortar upgrade. I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to get it, y'all. I just, you know. <laughs> you know how it is when you're trying to do something. When you're trying to show somebody something, like it's like when you go to the mechanic shop and you're like, my car is making this noise, and it was making this noise before I got here, <laughs> but it's not making it no more. Like, just because you got something to prove, timing couldn't be worse. Okay, this is going to be... I think this is going to be a chest. No, it's not. Dang it. Why, game? Why? Just give your boy what he needs. The regeneration is paying off really good here. Uh, this doesn't do me much good. Except to maybe find some chests. Without worrying. I just got another magnet by accident. It's gonna happen anyway. <laughs> it's gonna happen whether we want it to or not. Bruh, do not do this to me, game. Please do not do this to me. Just show me an elite and give me a chest. Maybe we need one of them little circles to farm around us. The, the little dance circle. <laughs> like they did back in the day when they did the break dance and everybody get in a circle and just watch the, the middle dude dance. Um, we're done. We are done. We cannot get the upgrade. These are all weapons. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Gah! bruh I hate it I'm so angry right now <laughs> now I'm just gonna evac bruh because I don't even wanna I don't even wanna go through anymore and look I bet you this sucker is gonna give us a chest I bet you it's gonna give us a chest it did oh oh wait can we get it even though the evo is full Did we get it? We did. Well, what did it replace? Did it just give us an extra weapon? I guess it did. I thought the Evo would kept full. Oh, I'm so happy now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't believe. So apparently when you do have all the prereqs, you can get the evolution no matter what from a chest. Oh, bruh, what a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, what, what were we doing here? I think we go with border. Look at the poo-poo on the screen! Look at the evolution! Oh my gosh. What exactly does this do? 
Upon impact, the grenade explodes into fragments that break up into even smaller pieces when they collide with the target. Each piece of shrapnel has the potential to explode, which we have so many projectiles. Wow, man. This is crazy. Okay, now we can get magnets. Now I'm okay with that. Wow, bruh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do quick hands. Let's just reload this fast. Let's make it even more ignorant. This is nuts, bruh. So now I think what I'm gonna do is just go around trying to find resources and survive. And I'm gonna get XP passively from magnets. Killing all this stuff on the screen? I don't even think I'm worried about it, dude. So does that mean that we can still get the fr frag grenade uh, Evo 2? Even though we have all of the slots filled out for weapons? I don't know. I was just trying to get a little bit more before I hit that uh that magnet. Frag grenades. Okay, let's find some chests. Grenade launchers. Now I'm just going for board clear. There's a little bit of health. Good. Guys, I'm not even... The enemies aren't even accumulating on the screen. Do you see this? Oh, this is going to be nice. That's a nuke. <laughs> that was a nuke really cool but these guys just appeared again let's see if i could kill some oh yeah you can kill them you just got to do a lot of damage to them which we're doing this is absurd though this is this is the most powerful build i've seen so far easy uh or at least experienced for myself that's for sure so a lot of the xp orbs that we get now are blue which means we're, we're just going to continue to level up here uh, at a decent pace. What was that? That's some gold? Oh, no, that was a chest. I can barely tell what's happening on the screen with all the poop, bro. Grenade launcher? Okay. Yeah, we need to continue looking for boxes so that we can maximize the amount of stuff that we get. It's too bad we aren't a scavenger. That's the only thing I would have wished for with this build because we could have got a few unlocks with it and we would be getting more resources uh let's go with grenade launcher i think quick hands is doing all right we seem to be reloading at an adequate rate <laughs> at a decent clip at a sweet pace oh gosh dude yeah this is bananas absolute bananas all right uh and we're not even losing help either i'm, I'm you know i'm wondering if how long we can stick around because we're doing so much damage so fast to these guys, uh, what's the next wave with the shields going to be like? Well, the good thing is the way that the evacs run, we'll be able to see without that much consequence. Because the shield guys start spawning, but the evac comes pretty quick after that. So if we, we decide to bail out, we can. Which is good. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, here's the shield guys. Uh doesn't look to be like it's even a problem let's see if the enemies accumulate on the screen just by staying still no we have a big old wide i don't know if you can see my my mouse here <laughs> we have a big old wide area that we're not having to worry about man uh let's try to max out frag grenades and um hmm might as well start getting more nimble so we can cover more ground bruh we ain't going nowhere y'all now when you approach enemies real quick with nimble sometimes you gotta wait a minute for it to open your hole because you can see they start to build up a little bit which means there there is a limit to the ridiculousness but i mean we don't have to stand there long <laughs> like Waiting for an elevator would be much longer on a two-story building. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Waiting for a Big Mac at McDonald's would be much longer than how long we have to wait right here. It is pretty absurd. So, yeah, evac, no, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna stay. I am gonna stay. Um, We'll, we'll be good for at least one more, I think. 
four, five, five minutes is what we would have to survive before we change our mind or die. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Grenade launcher. Yes. I wonder if it's possible to max the you totally max the experience slots. I mean, it has to be. But the, the, the levels do end after a little while. It's not endless. I think the completion time total is 30 minutes. I think. Uh, I've never even done 20 minutes on any build, though. So that's probably would be... Um, I don't know if that would be the limit here. But I think you really have to have a meta-progressed character. Like a lot of level ups in weapons and skills and mutations and all of that good stuff to really make your builds uh ridiculous uh i'm gonna go for cell regen just in case stuff got, starts getting nuts i do want to go for a little bit of survivability because after a little while it doesn't matter how much damage you do because you will have to run through crowds to that you know to to get places and if you get hit you need to have that sustain right being able to get these chips really 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 nice because chips are it yeah things are starting to creep ever so close and it may be because i'm moving faster than i was before too right that could be it okay this is a freeze we could just make some headway here without having to worry about getting hit too much all right and zombies are back in motion yeah, they started to build up there for just a second. <laughs> just, just a tiny second. All right. Man, I gotta say though, it's visually stunning. Like it's, it's very satisfying just to mow this many enemies down. I'm pretty sure that after this run, we're gonna unlock the pyro, which I really am excited to try. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Nimble, quick hands or XP? I think Nimble is fine here. I think Nimble is fine. We we can't move at full rate because of uh, well damage, you know. Uh, let's do drone. We're gonna increase our damage a little bit. All right, we're gonna have an elite that comes out. I think this is the circle of doom, the dance circle of doom. We got a couple chests that we left behind here. I guess we should go towards those. I don't know if it's really necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. There's a chest. It's funny that we don't even see elites on the screen now. They just happen to die. Hey, we got enough for everyone. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Not that you notice what's happening, but our grenade skill just got a heck of a lot stronger. And we're getting uh, the mortar. I mean, the was that the mortar or the grenade? I think that we maxed out grenade launcher right there. I think that's what we did. We have another chest that's way over here. The good news is, coming back down here, uh, there there are some more chests. So us trying to get back to um, this chest over here will yield more resources, thankfully. I think I got the the. <laughs> I think I got the resource box that was on the ground right there. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. You know, all the poo-poo on the screen. And it is kind of flashy, but it's not too bad. So I don't know if this would qualify for something that would hurt, uh, uh well, endanger people that gets Caesars from flashing screens. I don't know. Because it is, it is kind of flashy. Let's see. Bullet Hell is probably not the best kind of uh, game to play if that is a condition for you, though, I imagine. Uh, let's do Quick Hands. Thought about Drone, but... Okay, that's an XP upgrade. I don't know how much XP we just got from that, but... Okay, might as well go with Kusaragama again more XP. <laughs> okay. Kusarigama. We'll upgrade drone eventually. I don't think I don't think it matters what we upgrade right now. It's just extra damage, but you can see some of the numbers that are coming off right here. Like every time we see a damage number come off, it's it's usually triple digits. 
There's some 30s in there too. That's probably from our drone or something. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, let's get another one. Alright. So we have 48 seconds before the helicopter spawns. I would imagine that we would know whether or not we'd be able to survive or not in a second before the, the chopper comes up. So let's just stand still for a little bit and see what kind of a safety range that we have. Yeah, I mean, I think we're okay without evacing. I think we're okay without evacing. Let's get this XP. Um, let's do Kusaragama and uh, we'll do Cell Regen. Um, let's see, Drone. We'll go for as much damage as possible as well, just to make sure that this, these enemies stay at bay. Because right now I'm pretty confident to stay another, another little while, right? I think we're okay with doing that. I'm not evac. I'm not doing it. Just in case it gets crazy, I'm going to move towards the evac. How about that? MG drone. Again, if you move too fast into these piles, it can be pretty bad. See, we got kind of close to getting hurt right there. But we have regen too. So like if I rushed a little bit. See, I took a little bit of damage right there. Took a little bit of damage right there. Yeah, we're completely maxed out. Just about. I mean, we have uh, one more level in MG Drone to get some XP and some long arms, but that's it. And those are that basically just for XP. But I'm not going to evac right here. I'm not. I'm going to finish it out, y'all. So the good thing about this is we really don't need to move to get resources if it becomes... Um, if it becomes hectic and that's almost at the point that we're at but i'd like to get as much resources as possible that we have been on this level a long time and we've gotten a lot of resource crates so i i imagine that we're gonna come back with a really really good haul haul just think if we were a scavenger getting all of this stuff you know that might be worth building out because all my resource runs have been with the smg just because he was the highest level guy and just because he's the first character almost anybody that's played or seen footage of this game has seen the smg evolutions and and everything that comes along with it and uh and to be frank <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm interested in in showing you guys new stuff so it's not a big deal for me to uh if i'm gonna play a little bit off camera it's not i don't think it's a real real big deal to play with that guy because you're not missing much you know and it's better than you seeing me do the same thing over and over again without being able to make upgrades. Plus, it's it's great to do with my morning coffee. <laughs> it's great. Or when my five-year-old nephew's over here. Or when it's loud outside and they're doing construction, which my neighbors just decided to build a, uh, a, a back porch the other day. So they're cutting metal and, and all sorts of stuff. One, one, of them, um, one of them overhang canopy type deals, you know. I have one over my garage in uh, my backyard, not my garage, but my uh, my carport, and it's uh, it's nice. It's nice to have. So happy about um, the fall season being upon us finally in Louisiana. Having that is really nice. So what do you get when you open chests and you're absolutely full? Well, this is uh, absolutely full now. I think we're completely maxed out. Yeah. <laughs> this is not this is gonna make a cool thumbnail too just saying <laughs> just saying so maximum is 30 minutes i believe i may stay for the entire 30 minutes i don't think i'll put you guys through that whole thing because what you're seeing on screen right now will probably not change a whole bunch uh to be honest i could talk just a little bit too if you guys want to hang out <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to hear about, you know, my life, maybe. Um, for those of you that have been around in the channel a long time, uh, some people have been asking for uh, a series on Ark Survival with the new 
uh, content. Well, it's not really new content, but it's a new game. I guess there's new content to it. It feels kind of samey to me. Uh, it's called Ark Ascended. Let's see what this chest gives right quick. Uh, yeah, it's, it's called Ark Ascended, and we don't need it. Okay, it gives it just gives a med pack. That's interesting. Um, I'm sorry. It's called Arc Ascended, and um, it's a UI slash engine overhaul with some quality of life upgrades and a small bit of content. I watched my buddy XB play it a little while on stream the other day to confirm my suspicions. Also, watched my buddy Z1 Gaming play it a little bit and. I have no doubt in my mind that I could probably make a fun mini-series out of it, but there's a few complications to that. One, I think if I played Ark again, people would expect more and more and more and more and more. And even though they already are hoping for more, it's a little bit different when you give somebody a taste and they come back and they're like, where's Ark? Where's Ark? Where's Ark? Where's Ark? I spent a considerable amount of time not uploading Ark content or not even uploading regular gaming content. And I think I've finally separated myself a little bit from Ark. Not to say permanently, oh, this is nice that you get resources parts for it. I wish it would have been chips, but hey, you can't, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway. I've considered, I've, I've, I've spent so much time away from it that I really do think in general that people will, um, people will expect it. And it's a game that I've played so much already, guys, that not even the coolest mod packs in the world or time away from the game can give me interest in it more than a couple of sittings, right? Can I make a few entertaining episodes have fun with initial early games surviving um you know uh, against the the few raptors that kill you at first and taming a moo kitty tyla and 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 having a little bit of fun building a little simple base without a roof the, everything that i used to do that people loved um you know i, I could i make a, a a fun little series with that yeah but after four or five episodes when the grind became necessary and uh, without cranking up the the rates to a ridiculous amount uh to take away the challenge uh having to go to through all the caves for the artifacts which are just so painful on the island map um you know due to not being able to take flyers in caves and all this stuff which is part of the challenge but it's some frustrating stuff because if you die and you lose all your stuff in one of those death holes in the map you just have to get you just have to do it again <laughs> you have to grind up that gear again and i don't know it's a pain and there's absolutely no reward in beating the bosses and getting all those artifacts like in game in arc is one of the things that i i i hated the most <laughs> like i dreaded the most i think it's something that people expect after a little while you know, it's like, where's your progression? Like, what's it all for if you don't progress is what it comes to. Why have a, 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 a very, very, very high level T-Rex if you're not going to lose use it on um, on the boss? You know, because there's no reason, there's no other reason to have it, uh, what, to get excess meat, you know, <laughs> to be able to travel around without getting, I mean, everybody just travels on birds too. So... There's just a lot of things that, you know, after a little while in survival, it just it doesn't seem very practical. And it kind of takes away from the game. It's it's almost like having cheats in a single player game, knowing that you don't have any possibility of dying. It's, it's, it's frustrating <laughs> because there's no sense of ownership or care in why am I upgrading if the challenge is, is missing? Uh-oh, I was taking some damage right there and I didn't even notice. Holy! I didn't even notice that. Let me get a med pack, bro. Let me get a med pack. I've, I've just been BSing too much. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we got parts. We did get a med pack. Thank goodness. Okay, we have to be careful here. I got to pay attention. Look, it's all big, guys. It's all big. I just didn't notice this. Oh, my God. I was just getting lost in thought and just talking about it. <laughs> Well, you know, you guys could probably feel my pain point about Ark. 
and and I would hope that I mean I played the game for over 5,000 hours and in terms of the amount of hours that I've played compared to some people it's nothing but for me it's still a lot it's it, so I you know I I, I I respectfully decline to open that can of worms so to speak I, I just I, I just don't think I want to go there and do that you know I am having much more fun with bullet hell games roguelites this new magic craft game if you guys haven't checked that out yet I, I've got some I got an I got a almost a 90 minute run yesterday on uh, uh, that's a video that's coming out uh, today I think and it's so much fun so much fun and maybe it came out yesterday but you guys should check it out it's on my channel just check my subscriptions you know um i also thought about doing a little bit of um a, a little bit of content on another channel just to start trying to grow another channel because i think a big portion of the the problem that i'm getting with views on just this channel is because my channel's kind of black holed. My, my channel doesn't know what to do. The algorithm doesn't know what to do with my channel. So I have a Web3 audience over the last couple of years with like crypto games and stuff like that and blockchain. I have a variety content audience with uh, games that have done really, really well in the games like, um, like Kingdom and Pixark and survival games like Ark and Pixark. I have, um, a ton of Voxies content and Web3 content that's on my channel, and I still do Voxies content every week. Uh, and I have a lot of discoverability coming from so many different places. Dragon Quest Builders is still one of my most craziest viewed uh, amount viewed series. That realistically, I, I I don't think that the algorithm knows what to do. Half of more more than half of my views, even if I upload daily are all about uh or all come from like pixar and dragon quest builders and kingdom and arc so who knows what they're subscribing to when they get a hold of my channel when they find my channel or what they're gonna get if they subscribe for one kind of content you know so i think con going doubling down on indie game content on a new channel might be interesting and i'm starting to experiment with that a little bit so so I got 12 seconds. I think I've ran my mouth enough here. I really need to focus on these last minute, these last few seconds, and get to the the evac spot. Okay, yeah, because I am scared of the next wave. I just don't think my character is evolved enough. And look, the elites are starting to come again. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to chance it. I do not want to chance it. Plus, the the screen. Uh, it's it's starting to be crazy. I think I'm just gonna run through here. I took a lot of damage going in there. You see my health bar, bro? So we were very, very close to, I think the limit is 30 minutes, but I, I can't do it, guys. I'm uh, level 119, and if I died right now and lost all that progress, I would be sick to my stomach. So I'm evacing. Will we get to 30 minute runs? Absolutely. <laughs> I just did not want to chance it. You guys could tell me in the comments how close I was. We we're probably on a, only in a minute and a half away, but could I have survived that minute and a half? I'm actually, a minute and 39. Could we have survived because the big elites was coming and the last wave nearly killed me when I wasn't paying attention? So I don't know if I could have fended it off. We did get biotech. Gains a significant boost to defense in toxic environments. That's actually really cool. Even though I don't know where he stands in terms of uh, in terms of of, of, of levels, because I only unlocked this level. But we might start trying the desert with some upgraded characters soon. And I unlocked the pyro, which I really wanted. 590 chips, 1667 parts, 936 food, 4400 coins, and 21 bosses killed, along with 51,000 enemies killed. Wow, that was very, very cool. So yeah, I hope y'all liked my little rant. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know, chiming in on uh, with your opinions, guys, I like to hear them. Whether you're an old school viewer or a new viewer that just hears my voice for the first time, it, you know, it, YouTube is a complicated beast and sometimes you either overthink it as a creator or you, you underthink it. You know, and um, I, I just like to hear feedback on it. So if you guys would post a comment, even if you never posted a comment on any of my videos, wouldn't hurt to see, you know, wouldn't hurt to, to hear what you like, even if it's something that I don't want to hear. I'm okay with that, as long as it's not 
disrespectful and rude <laughs> you know that's fine with me uh other than that y'all i'm very very happy with harry very happy with harry uh that, what did harry get harry got 6800 infection but picked up a bunch of really really cool stuff uh mutation regen hp 12 percent fire damage increase speed increase smarts increase shock damage increase some weird ones i would have rather get extra rerolls but you know it ain't that bad and i'm gonna go ahead and heal him get rid of all this trash but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the run next time we come back bruh we might we might have to look at some of the uh some look here holly holly got a spear oh no we're gonna do something absolutely fantastic with it here's here's the biotech alistair that's a great name but i don't i don't want a spear character <laughs> i don't want a spear character there's a bunch that we're gonna look at i'm gonna think about it you guys tell me what you want to see in builds i still need to do some stuff with the tank too katana might be fun with that um or we really really get boomerangs online again and do that build that we tried to do last time i don't know shotgun might be cool too thanks so much for watching guys as always this is Zuljin signing off we'll see you next time